Good morning, scholars. I'm so happy you're here with me for another week. I'm excited about all the new art we get to make together, and happy Fine Art Friday! Just kidding. But like I said, I like saying it. So this week there is actually um, Earth Day is happening this week. It's on April 22nd, and it's a day dedicated to being aware of what is happening in the Earth and how you can make the Earth a better place. And so the themes of today's art projects are going to be Earth Day. So I have five projects for you today. One is going to be another draw and tell. Remember to send me pictures of your artwork. When you're done listening to the draw and tell story, go ahead and color it however you want. Give it a little scenery, a setting, anything you think that makes it a better artwork. Um, so that's going to be the first project. I'm also going to be doing, um, we're going to be making a game actually. We're going to do an Earth Day themed, sorry, my light is messing up. We're going to do an Earth Day themed memory game. If you know what a memory game, the memory game is, it's where you have two pictures of, no, two cards with one picture on them. And you flip them all over. We have about 12 pictures we're creating, so there's going to be 24 cards, and then you're going to flip them all over, and you have to try and match up the two cards. And so it's going to be Earth Day themed, so all of the images that we are drawing are going to be Earth Day uh, images, or Earth Day themed images, and it's going to be really fun. So that'll be, that's the first time that we're making a game, so that's kind of cool. So we have that Earth Day uh, memory game that we're doing, we're also going to be doing, um, you've got the whole world in your hands. Let's see. Can you see it? That light is kind of a little glary. I apologize. We're also going to do make a happy earth heart. So that's going to be fun. I don't think I can make that light any less bright, so I apologize. And then we are also going to be making a giant ladybug. No, over here. Ha! Look at him. He looks all silly. So, we have uh, four Earth Day projects and one Draw and Tell. I hope your projects come out as amazing and as fun as I had making them. And remember to send me pictures. Also, so uh, Specials has their virtual office hours Mondays from 8.30 to 9. Stop by and check that out. If you send me any pictures of your artwork, um, I'll send you a link to lunch with, no, lunch, breakfast with Specials on Wednesday. So that'll be fun also. Um, yeah, just kind of come stop by, email me if you want to chit chat, I'm always available. If you want to set up a time where we can have a Zoom meeting and I would love to check out all of your artwork, that's doable. Please, Missy needs things to do, so go ahead and send me artwork pictures. I love to see your artwork and it makes me so happy. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, let me know if you need anything. I know it's hard, but it's okay. We're doing great. We're doing great. It's been like a month. That's crazy, right? But we're doing great. We're staying productive. We're staying creative. And we're staying healthy, hopefully. Thank you to everyone who stopped by and showed up for our working out with special team. Oh my gosh, Missy was sweating like a crazy person and chugging water. Because you know you need to chug that water when you work out. Alright, well, I love you all. I miss you all. And I can't wait to see you. Remember, send me pictures of your artwork. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Hey scholars, today we are going to draw a ladybug. Spring's coming, and so we are going to draw a cute little ladybug. Ladybugs are cute anyway, so we don't have to work too hard. So you're going to need a paper, you're going to need a pencil, an eraser. I'm using a sharpie. Uh, you can use a marker if you want to, uh, you and then you're just going to need something to color with. So we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to draw everything in pencil first, and then trace in sharpie. Just remember, Missy likes to turn her page. Sorry if it confuses you. So we are going to draw a ladybug that takes up this whole page. And so the ladybug's body is going to be one large half circle. So this is the bottom of the half circle. If you want to, you could draw a ruler. It doesn't have to be straight. <clears throat> and from here, we're going to go up. This is going to be the top part of its shell, I guess. Is that what you would call it? I'm not too sure what you would call it. Let's use fixing it. I'm going to be erasing her mistake because you can always erase it if you make a mistake. From here, we are going to draw the head. And we're still using this line, and the head's going to be in the middle right here. We're going to do another half circle. 
So this is going to be the head and the body. What? Oh my gosh, we're almost done. Already. From here, you're going to draw two antennas, and ours is going to be a swirly line. And they don't have to be exactly the same. We're going to go ahead and do two antennas just like that. What? And we are going to draw some legs. I'm not too sure how many legs ladybugs have, but we are going to draw six. And we're going to draw like owl shapes. Two. Maybe we should only draw four, because most of these are kind of big. If you want, yours can have more. We're only going to draw a little bit. So let's see if you can't see it. Those are my legs at the bottom. Four legs. And from here, you can draw your face. And draw two big eyes. And you're going to draw a goofy smile. Maybe that's a little too goofy. <laughs> that was silly. You can just draw a really big smile. Right? Perfect. From here, we're going to draw the spots. And the spots are going to be all over the body. And they are also going to be kind of half circles because you can only see parts of the spots. Do you understand? So this, this is a front view of our ladybug. And just kind of draw however many you want. And, yeah. and then we needed our eyeballs. You can do them in the middle. Or you could do them on the side. And the scissors are just going to be in the middle. But if you could make it as goofy as you want it, you can totally do that. Cool. So from here, I'm going to just do one big smile and make it have teeth. No, I don't think they really have teeth. But yeah. So there we go. There's our ladybug. From here, so the background will probably be grass on the bottom, sky on the top. That's perfectly fine. So if you want to, you can draw a line here to show the bottom of the grass, and here it extends. Uh, that'll be more with the color than the color. So now we're going to go ahead and take out our Sharpie and trace our lines. Awesome. I'm going to turn it as I trace it, just because that's how I roll. So we're doing a ladybug. Um, because spring is here, almost, it's been kind of cold, but spring is technically here, and, um, it's time for ladybugs and plants and flowers. I know you guys have been noticing more flowers in and around your houses. Missy sees the Texas bluebell flower everywhere she goes. So yeah, so we're just tracing all of our lines, just working on the feet right now, do this big, now it's a U, Ladybugs used to be Missy's favorite bug, if you could have a favorite bug. I always thought they were very nice and pretty. They don't bite, they just kind of crawl. But, I mean, I guess they could still be one of my favorites. I kind of like grasshoppers. But those ones are weird with their big old long legs. Just the eyes now. Hear my dog in the background? He's crying. And there we are with our ladybug. He looks like a happy little ladybug. And so now we can go ahead and color it. So you can color it however you want. If you want, you can paint it. If you want, you can use crayons, markers, whatever you have. I have um, something along the lines of colored pencils, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. And I said the bottom will kind of be grass. So I'm going to do this grass-like texture. To kind of make it look like.
I also like caterpillars because they turn into butterflies. Those are another good bug I like. I think we're going to make or draw or make, I don't know yet, um, some caterpillars also. See, I always make that mistake. I don't go directly under the camera. So let's see. From here, we could do the dots. The dots are black dots. And your ladybug doesn't have to look like every other ladybug in the world. It can be different colors if you want. It could be however you want. Remember, we all show our creativity differently. I don't like telling you guys. I try and show you ideas of things that we do together. But I don't tell you how to color it and what it should look like. I think your imagination will fill that up for you. And it's always fun to just see the different projects people come out with. So when you're done, remember to show me pictures so that I'll be able to see your artwork and see the different and wonderful things that you come up with. That's my dog again. He's like, ugh. Oh. So there are my spots, and there's my dress, and now you can do, let's see, we can do the face. The face doesn't have to be, no, let's see, we'll do the body, right? They're red. They're red. But they can also be pinks. They can also be purples. They can also be oranges. I've actually seen, in real life, orange ladybugs. Maybe he just didn't stay in the shell, like his egg, long enough for him to turn red. And he came out a little too early. Or maybe he was just in the sun so much that it changed his shell's color. I don't know. I don't know why they're different colors. That's a scientist question. Missy's not a scientist. face is going to be the same red. I think my face is going to be pink. Why not, right? You can paint them, you can use markers, you can kind of just mess around with anything you have. Missy is a really big fan of use whatever you got. Even if it's just pencil, then fine. It can be like a black and white picture. Those pictures are really cool. A lot of things can be done with pencil. One, let's see. From here. Let's add some different colors to the show. Just do the best you can. Mmm, that's not a good color for the inside of his mouth. I don't really know what color the inside of their mouth is. It looks like the same color as his face. just to kind of switch it up, you know? There's nothing wrong with switching things up. <clears throat> now I kind of... See, you just kind of go for it, and you make it, and then you switch it, and then you make it, and you switch it. There's nothing wrong, it's your artwork. Remember Missy's Crazy Egg Monsters? Those things came out crazy. Ooh, now I just want to keep adding things. I want 
purple antennas. And then we're going to do the sky. And then look, this project's already done. It was a simple one. Bam! So we have our ladybug. And now let's go ahead and work on the sky. And you can just kind of, so I'm going to use different blues. Because honestly, the sky isn't just one blue, maybe. When the clouds are in the sky, it's a different blue. And then throughout the day, it either gets darker or lighter. And so I'm going to kind of just switch it up the way I did with the grass. I put different greens with the grass. You can use crayons. I'm using these weird color pencil things. And then from here, I probably should have made a space for it. But I'm going to do a little bit of sun. And since I did blue, it's going to come out all green. That's my bad. Probably should have put it down before the blue, because blue and yellow make green, so if you look closely, you'll notice that it looks kind of green. Whoopsie daisy. I guess it could be a flower. Maybe the ladybug's looking up at a flower. You just kind of do whatever, right? Use your imagination. It's one of the coolest things we got, our imagination. yours. Remember to send me pictures. I'll see you soon.